Hi everybody, it's Amber with She's Crafting. Today is July 2nd, 2024. So that means that today is the halfway point in the year. So what better day to record a whip parade? Are you ready for a whip parade? Now, if you're new here, this is a channel about all things handmade, but I have recorded another video that has everything besides the cross stitch because this is going to be the whip parade to rule all whip parades. I have an epic amount of whips to show you. This will be split up into three videos with, um, let's see, I think it's 10 different categories. So we have January slash winter, Christmas, fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, samplers, um, birds, spring, floral, Easter, summer, other, and vintage and fancy ladies. So 10 categories, three videos, and 182 whips. Now, again, if you're new here, and that seems like a huge number, and it really is, I don't discount that, um, but Probably something to note is that I don't stash. So I have something, I start something. Um, if I purchase something, then I have full intentions on starting that project. So not that that makes it better, but it does kind of explain the amount of projects. So um, <laughs> one more note. So in my last video, I was talking about um, how I had too many projects and I wanted to whip down and I wasn't purchasing patterns. So that is not true. <laughs> I was thinking about it and I thought, oh my crazy. I have, I remember last summer I went to this like um, garage sale thing and bought like two boxes of these vintage old patterns, which is a big big percentage of my whips, I would say. And I'm, I'm sure here and there, like I've purchased thing. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have been summer delirium. And then also I have no intention of whipping down because I love all of my baby projects and I just couldn't choose any to focus on because the reality is that means other projects don't get stitched on. I may never get to finish them all. I hope that's not the case. <laughs> But you know what? I am going to enjoy every single stitch. So I'm blathered a lot. And I will say I did purchase since the last video four new projects. Uh, the first one was stacked teacups. So these are not in the whip bins yet. So I'm going to just go ahead and show them. Um, this is a gold, very glary, sorry, gold collection petites, which I understand are like nothing to sneeze at there. They're pretty intense. I got this one I have put off buying forever and it was on clearance. So I was like, that is it. And I showed it to my husband and he goes, oh, that's pretty. And I don't really think he's ever looked at a pattern and been like, oh, taken aback. So very happy about this purchase. It is technically called Pong in Dian. Oh, oh, look. Okay, so that must be the French and then Indian Peacock. Okay, sorry, I'm having to hold it sideways because it's glary. Look at that. Okay, so Indian Peacock. And now I just might call it the French version just for fun. And then this one is Bucket of Flowers. Now, this is technically embroidery and it is on some printed fabric and I still think it's gonna be amazing had to get that and then this one is needlepoint old mill cottage yes yes so there you go now since my last video I have finished something or F yeah finished an FFO so let's start with the FFO this was a finish last time. It is Brooks Books Summer Pantry. It is stitched on 14 count natural Ada. I finished it with this uh, like check gingham fabric that just looks like a summer picnic blanket to me. And I wanted to 
do, I, okay, two things. Here, let me show you this one first. I, I think I want to do some trim of this pom pom -y trim around the outside. It doesn't have that much yellow, but I still think it looks super cute and summery. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then the other one that I FFO'd is well, there's a couple, but another one is this one. This is an artiste kit that I bought several moons ago, so I don't think it's probably available anymore. But tell me your opinion. Is this too yellow? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. And then the back is this, like, kind of bee-looking fabric. And then, so I had this stitched quite some time ago and I had made like a ball jar band but the jar fell on the ground and shattered and so I couldn't find anything else to put the band back around on so I ended up just making it into a little pin pillow and I did have to end up cutting I mean uh sewing into the spoon there but it's okay it says live simply this is from a vintage um I do have this book, so if you are curious, I can tell you what that's from, but it's in this madness of whips, so, because I've got another one on the book, the, on the decks for that one, from that book, and then this is a needle point kit that I finished some time ago, and just hadn't done anything with it, um, and that was because I wasn't sure really how to finish this and so I think it's okay it's a little wonky okay it's really wonky but I'm fine with it um I don't know if maybe like this was the first needle point I ever did so perhaps my tension wasn't so good and so I had some stretching issues I don't mind I think she's beautiful anyways and I just put this fabric on the back see you can really tell how wonky it is from here I tried to get as close. So needle points done like on a canvas and tried to get as close as I could. Um, it's just for me. So, and, and that's, I think she's amazing. Okay, this was a, by the way, Dimensions needle point kit called like Hummingbird. So, okay, those are the FFOs. Now, the FO, this is a garden cupboard from Just Cross Stitch, June 2017. Now, I had made the classic error and I turned, when I started this project, I turned my fabric the wrong way. It was oriented the wrong way. So, honestly, I think it was a happy mistake because, like in the words of the wise Bob Ross, because I don't really think I wanna finish it um, so I, the whole thing, I mean, so what I did was I had stitched the bird, the hummingbird feeder and the, uh, beehive and then maybe some of the jar. Yeah. Some of the jar. So this time I picked up, I mean, I, you know, picked up where I was on the border and just closed it off backstitched the beehive, added the bee, the bird, backstitched, yeah, backstitched and finished what I hadn't done. Um, so I'll just figure out what I want to do with this. And wouldn't this be cute with this pom-pom trim too? I think I'm going to get my money's worth out of this trim. Yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be cute. So this will probably be a pillow since we got some cute trim going on here. Okay, so are you ready? I don't know that I am, <laughs> but we better get started because we're 10 minutes in and we have it again with the whips. So um, let's see what bin this is. I know that this is vintage, so let me give you some numbers. So when I get to the next section, I'll tell you how many of the next category I have, but for vintage, no, no, no. Yes, for vintage, I have 20 projects, okay? Now, again, some of these might not have a single stitch in them because that I just have them kitted up, but they will soon. So, this is the first one, Sunset 
Treasures from Home. It's not been long that I showed this. And I'm stitching it on the, this was from a kit, and I'm stitching it on the 14 count Ada. This is super fun to work on because it is blocks of color, which sometimes you just need, right? You just need a big block of color of mindless stitching. Um, you're going to have to forgive me because I use a lot of Ziploc bags because I have a lot of projects and there's going to be noise. It's unavoidable. The next one is a gold collection called Dollhouse Tea Party. This is being stitched on the 14 count. No, no, no. I'm going to correct. 28 count mushroom Lugana that comes with the kit and I have started in the center and there is the little doorway obviously it looks very odd because of the stark color difference from the shadowing but once the whole thing is in I found with these older kits um, once the whole thing is done like it doesn't seem so oh look there's big jump in color. Um, it really just works out. So that is Dollhouse Tea Party from Dimensions Gold Collection. Okay. Another sunset kit and I believe sunset used to be Dimensions. Um, old teddies. So cute. I want all the teddy bear uh, dimensions kits. They're so cute. I never knew I liked teddy bears until I started seeing all those old dimensions kit. And then this is also being stitched on the 14 count kit Ada. Maybe 16 count. I'm just going to go with 14. But um, I made, so I got the, look at his face. And I was starting the big bear and the basket. Yeah. But I realized when I was stitching this, I was like, uh-oh, I had swip swapped two colors, two significant colors um, of the bear, like the main color of this bear. I was making like the shadow color. This is going to be a problem, but I'll get it out soon and figure out what to do. Not a big frogger, but... And I probably won't if we're, if I'm just being honest about it, I probably won't frog it, but I pro but I will just figure out a way to make it work where it doesn't look weird. Okay. The next one I just put fabric with, so it does not have a stitch in it. So I'll just show it to you, but this is one that will be started soon. I'm just calling this vintage wheelbarrow because I couldn't find a name on it anywhere. And it'll just be done on 28 count even weave uh, cream. Okay. This was one that I started not too long ago. I am working on the, that one right here. This is from English pubs. And I am stitching this on 25 count Lugana. Man, I thought I had more done in the natural colorway. I, I know that this is the top, though. Gosh, how does it go? I think that's it. And then this is the top of the cottage and the door uh, overhang thing. Yeah, right there, I think. So... Not that it matters but to you, but that's what it is. Okay. Some of the, or a lot of these you've seen recently because that's why they're at the front of the box. Okay. This was Country Collector. I am doing the horizontal version. I made a couple mis, no, I didn't really make a mistake, but I'm having to like accommodate for some changes 
just because this is stitched here doesn't mean it's the same layout. So I didn't realize that when I got started, but again, I thought I had so many more stitches. <laughs> uh, that's what I have done. It's funny how you have this picture of how it looked in your head when you left it, and that's not how it looks. <laughs> Next, this is Country Collections number three, the Hooser cabinet. Lots done on this one because I love it so much and it's so fun. Being stitched on 28 count um, natural even weave. And I kind of did some, like a color complete situation. Yeah. Anyway, so cute. They just pop off the fabric. I can't love them more. Okay. Now, the next one doesn't have any stitches in it, but I'll show you the pattern. It is Heartstrings Homespun Memories. Um, and I'm going to be stitching this on a remnant um, pink fabric. So it'll be like this on the pink fabric. So. Okay. This one has almost nothing in it because I messed up and I need to pull it out. But uh, Street Scene, Volume 1. It's done. Oh man, that looks like a 32 count. White. And somehow I made a mistake, but so I need to go in and correct it, but not too much to show on that. You will see a theme of my projects. I like houses, birds, more birds, houses, yes. Okay, this is Victorian Welcome. It doesn't have any stitches in it. I am doing it without the words and just in a, a straight line. And I'm gonna be doing it on 32 count ivory. So we'll see that soon. No stitches in this one, but I'm going to, this is, okay. Oh, this is what book this came out of. Yeah. And it's called Say It Country Style. Yeah. Um, so I next will be stitching this lantern. Um, we have one of those and it's so cool. Um, 14 count natural Ada. Okay. The next one is a kitchen sampler, leisure art leaflet. And I'm stitching this on a 40 count, um, straw. That's what I have done. It's so teeny and so cute and so many color changes. Okay, the next one is, I love it so much. I love them all. Um, so funny story, um, Country Sampler is like on every single pattern in vintage. And I just recently realized because that's the name of the magazine. Um, <laughs> so it's actually called We Gather Together. There's some interesting color choices on here and I love it. So that's what I have done. This is on 32 count ivory. Again, interesting color choices, right? But they look so cool. Okay. 
This is called Hearts Full of Love. And I accidentally spilled my Dr. Dr. Pepper or coffee on here. One or the other. I think it was coffee. And it kind of made me pause. I need to get back to it. Because I, I don't mind. I mean, it's very splotchy. Maybe I'll just throw some more coffee on it. Um, and so... Um, need to get back to that. I need to get back. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say that anymore. I want to stitch on all of that. Okay. This one, I do not believe is started. So I'll just show you the pattern that I'm doing. This one right here. I wish I had these buttons. That's why it's not started. Because I really want to get those buttons or something like it. So I need to look at not another button, button company or something like that. I'm stitching that on... 32 count ivory. Okay, this one, I was making sure I had stitches. Yeah, this one right here, I believe, is the one I'm working on. This is called Served with Love. Um, that's what I have done. This is 28 count natural or lamb's wool maybe lamb's wool don't these um dish towels just pop off the fabric they look so cool that's the thing with these vintage patterns like now um there's not so much back stitching obviously but that back stitching just this doesn't have any stitches in it yet, but I'll show it to you. This is Summer Home. Yeah. I'm not trying to decide if I'm going to do that fencing in the back. Okay. Uh, this one's Country Collectors. No stitches in it yet. That's the one I'm doing right now. Or will be doing. This is I Love Aunties, Collectibles and Country Things. This is the one I have started. I started this a long time ago and I was like really on a roll. And then and I remember this is when I had my, I was in a wheelchair. I had a foot surgeries for like, I had, it was for like six months. And um, so I was stitching this, I remember. And but I, I was like, this is weird. Like. I don't know. I know it's like a kid's toy, like a Noah's Ark probably or something like that. And I just didn't love it. But now I've had some distance and I love it again. So I'll be getting it out. Not to mention when you look at the rest of it, you're like, oh yeah, that's just adorable. So, okay. I do not believe this has any stitches. This is Country Spoken here. I'll be stitching that on a 14 count toast. Beta. Oh, projects. Sorry, I, I need to not be so loud. I'm trying to be quiet with the crinkling. If I go slow, it doesn't go so bad. Uh, no stitches. This one right here. Look at the cat. Now that is Roger. That's Roger. So cute. I'll be stitching that on this. See, we, when I say the number 182 or 83 or whatever it is, it sounds really bad, right? But when you think about all of what's been started, this doesn't make it better. I'm just, just trying to justify, aren't I? This one is from Celebrations to Cross Stitch and Craft. And I'm doing, going to do this one right here. It's from that song, um, To Everything There Is a Season, A Time to Every Purpose. Actually, I think it's a, a biblical um, reference too. If you know, oh, here's a better picture of it. If you know what scripture that is, you can tell me. 
Um, I love it. So I'll be stitching this. This is, um, I tried to stitch something on this in May and it didn't work out so good. So I'm going to try to stitch on this mustard 32 count uh, fabric here. Lots of glare. Ooh. Okay. We are almost out of the vintage patterns. Not started yet, but this is pumpkin. Uh, I think it's, what is it called? I can't remember. Pumpkin band something. There's got, it's got some, um, I think it's got some specialty-ish stitches in it. This is one I started, don't know if I've showed it to you. Started in May, so I don't think I have shown it to you. This is, um, Country Sampler Town. See, they really do put Country Sampler in a lot of these names, though. I'm not totally crazy. And I stitched the Town Hall in the middle. On right there. That was a lot of stitches. My hands were hurting while I'm working on this project, and I'm not sure why. My hands hurt all the time, so I shouldn't be that surprised. But it was muy difícil. Okay. And then... You know, I know I'm not going into too many details about all of these because we have so many to do, but if you do have questions, feel free to ask. I will answer. Okay, uh, Art of Cross Stitch, Simple Country Classics. I'm going to be doing the Amish Farm right here on blue even weave. I think we may be out of the vintage. Let's see. Yes, I believe this is, yes. Okay, so that was all of the vintage patterns. So now we're going to go to summer. So for summer projects, I have only 14. Kind of surprising. So this is on a me-made bag or in a me-made bag that my dog stepped on. And I stitched that little watermelon teapot. It's a cute uh, kit from Artiste. And this is Knee High by the 4th of July. I know you can get this uh, like a PDF version, but mine came from just cross stitch August 2015, if you have that. And I am stitching it on a piece of 25 count denim blue. With called for. Doesn't that look good on that color? It is so Americana, I love it. Okay. that. The next summer one is not started. Sorry, trying to be quiet, but it's hard. Hmm, I think I want to keep, put them back uh, purposefully. This was one that I will be working on. America, land that I love. It may be my 4th of July start. Uh, by uh, Rosewood Manor, right? Yeah, I'm Rosewood Manor. I believe there's some specialty in here. <clears throat> and I'll just be stitching that on 3D count white. Even weave. Oh. I guess that is not, this vintage one is out of order. Um, this one, nope. Aw, oh, man, it's not marked. Well, please. Yeah, I think it's this one. Hold on, let's share this out, because that's not necessary. It's like a leaflet flyer thing. Okay, this is it. I am not stitching the I Love My Garden from the bottom, but I'm, I'm just doing the other part of it. And from cross stitch 
or I'm sorry, Cross Country Stitching Magazine. And I'm stitching this on 28 count even weave light blue. And that's what I have done. Gosh, I remember working on this for what seemed like a long time, but not so many stitches. Okay, so I'll put this with the vintage. That's where that goes. Maybe I'll put it in the garden because that it's like, or with the summer because it's like a garden thing. I don't know. This is, I don't have a cover photo. This is Brooks Books. This is a freebie. Uh, summer House. I have the whole series started. They're so cute. And somebody did them with beads. I don't know if she charted them with beads. I can't remember, but I think I'm going to do that because it looks so good. On 32 count ivory linen. The next one is see, um, a DMC. Oh, you can't see that. That's the pattern. Yeah. Sorry, that's all you get to see. But it's a um, seashell wreath and it came in a tube of DMC fabric. And that is what I have done. Talk about Color Change City on this one. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of color changes. Yeah, I actually bought that fabric to go to do something else and when I pulled out the of the tube you know sometimes they come in a tube there was that picture on it of the chart and I was like well I want to do this one <laughs> okay this is Gardener's Delight this is from Cross Stitch Favorites book or magazine I can't remember I've got them all there's like four of them. So I've got them all kind of like two or three stitches. I'm pretty sure that was a mania thing some time ago, but I really kind of just ended up focusing on one. That may not even be the one I showed you. It's not, it's, oh, there's like six of them. Where's the one I started? Oh Lord. That's just embarrassing, Amber. There it is. That's it. Yeah, there's like six of them. Put them all in appropriately. Okay. How are you doing out there? Hanging in? This is a Mill Hill kit. Watermelon. One of the only ones I'm doing on the actual um, I actually bought this for my son to do and he kind of gave up. But that's what I have done. If he wants to finish it, he can. is a favorite but a little hard to do so it is a American flag quilt sampler look at those beauties and I am on the border in the first one the first one's not even done it's like really intricate um, stitching and it's it's a big girl so 20, nope, 32 count ivory. You saw this one not too long ago. This is Cape Cod Summer from Just Cross Stitch. I can't find it. If you want to know, uh, let me know and I can find them. But, but 
this is what I have done. So far, a lot of the same color, but it, it'll, it'll get colorful. No stitches, I don't think, in this. I don't, maybe, yes, there is. I like. Uh, I don't think I have the whole. Nope. I'm just wrong. Herbs and spices from just cross. No, yeah, just cross stitch June 2018. Lots of backstitch in this. Um, so. It's not like I'm like, oh, I want to pick that one back up, but I, I know I'll really like it once I do pick it back up or once I have it going like into it. That's what tends to happen to me. Okay. Just, um, cross eyed cricket collection June. I'm missing two. I'm missing January. December, July, so three, I think. This is June. Got the U in there. This is on 36 Count Diva. Excuse me. So sorry. Okay. This is on Feather Town. Oh, I'm sorry. This is. Feathertown, USA, Home Tweet Home. That's the one I have started. 32 count white. Okay, now we're into birds. So, birds. 11, which is was surprising. When I put that to paper, I really expected it to be more. The first one I have not officially started, but I will, and it is Blue Jay's Birdhouse from Just Cross Stitch. February, 2015. And I'll just be stitching it on uh, 28 count blue even weave. And it's in the butterfly bag, which is weird. I have a butterfly project. I might switch them. Okay, so birds gotta go right here. Okay. All right. This is Feathered Friends. Margelin Bastin. Oh, it's so cute. They're adorable. Bluebird. Yeah. I just went right in there for a bird. Forget about the birdhouse. Not really. Gonna have to stitch that birdhouse soon. Okay. Um, gotta do a little re ranger roo there. Okay. This one I'm going to start soon. This is spring. Jen from Jen's Crafty World uh, gave me this one. She stitched it. It's beautiful. And I am going to stitch it on 32 count crystal carnival, which is an opalescent. You can kind of see the, yes, so pretty. Looking forward to that start soon. Then this, oh, I'm almost out of the birds. Um, this is uh, Forever and Never, the Songbirds Garden Series. Love. Now, I will say I do have more bird 
projects than I actually listed there, but they, if I think that they go with a certain um, uh, season, I kind of put them with that. So that I like to, you know, stitch them on that season. This is 20 or 32 count vintage blue whisper. That may be upside down. Maybe this way. Yes. Love. Okay. I have three, I think, now of that series. I want them all. Okay. Where did... I need to put this in a bigger bag, I think. Because it's in a... It's just in its... Own. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. That's all the birds that are just birds. So, that can't be. No, it's not. Somehow these got out of order. This is, yeah, I was like, that can't be. So this is Birds of a Feather by Doreen Jones. This is from the World of Cross Stitching Magazine. Oh, that's not helpful to you. <laughs> that's helpful to you. This one's good for those blocks of stitching. Finish the bottom bird with the exception of maybe some backstitch and starting on, start it on the top. Let me get this back in my bag. This gorgeous bag. Calico made me. It's so pretty. Okay. Christy. All right. Spring butterflies doesn't do it justice. And I finished last month this side of the butterfly. This is on 28 count natural even weave. I actually really enjoy working on this fabric. And I want to say it's an NCG textiles, which is, so it's weird that it's nice. It's a nice one. Okay. That was from Just Cross Stitch Magazine. April 2015. 42 minutes. Sorry. Okay, birds, birds, birds. Okay, this one you saw not too long ago. This is Simplicity from the Cottage Garden Bird Series. Simplicity. And I am stitching this on, I do not know what it's called. Um, but that's my start. And that's the whole thing. So, she's a beaut. This is how I knew that I had not shown you all my birds because, no, there's still another one. <laughs> um, Parula Wobbler Birdhouse. Doesn't do it justice, I know. The blue, or the... Uh, black and white picture. Okay. This is where I am. A little bit of everything going on here. Bird, leaf, flower, birdhouse. Bag I made. from Vana Pfeiffer's tutorial, envelope bag tutorial. Okay, where is that bird? How did I get these out of order? Where is it? There's one missing, y'all. 
Where is it? I've been stitching on it like a crazy, and I can't find it in here. It'll come up. Um, Time Enough. This is by Kathy Perry. Whoop. Sorry, hope the dog stops you. I'm stitching this on a piece of 28 count watercress. Not much done. Sorry, I'm trying not to go too fast or too slow, so hopefully, so hopefully we can get this done in an hour. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that is the end of the birds because I know there's some missing, so maybe something's going on there. Okay, summer. Oh, this is a summer one. Y'all, they're just all about mixed up. So let's show you this one, Strawberry Harvest Hoop. I just recently worked on this. Everybody was stitching their, sorry, hopefully he'll stop. Everybody was stitching their um, animal crackers. And I, I was like, I have a mouse. I wanna stitch my mouse. But I actually didn't even get to the mouse. I got some more strawberries and some more blue background in. But it's cute. And the mouse is going to be right here, so I'm excited. Next time, I should be able to get to the mouse. Okay, this goes with summer. This with that was summer. Okay. This is... The birds and the bees. And it's from Cross Stitch and Needle Work Magazine. That's what I have done. Lots of color changes on this. So many color changes. But it looks good. Okay, so I guess I had that. I didn't have that with birds, so I'm gonna put it with the birdhouse. Okay, this. I give up. I'll just tell you the categories best I can. Okay, this one is like a Valentine project, I believe. Yes. Okay, where is it? Stitched with love, that cute lady with the birdhouse and the, she's stitching on something. This is like, this is, oh, this is my self-portrait. My self-portrait right there. Okay. On Mesa, 28 count Mesa. Look at the delicate stitches. It's so pretty. Oh, this has to come out soon. It's so pretty. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Stitching is a work of art, it says. Amen, sister. Okay. So I don't even know where to put that one for the right category. I don't know why that was in there like that. This is going to be a restart. I'll show you. I gotta restart it though. I don't like the way that the uh, threads color are showing up on this fabric. This is that same PTP Carnival, PTP something Carnival. Um, so I'm going to pull that out. But this is Springtime Joy. And I'm going to choose new colors that I feel like go better with that fabric. And it's from Just Cross Stitch April 2015. Okay, so that's a spring project. Yes, we must be in the spring. So let me tell you those numbers. $14.99. 
for spring floral Easter, I have 27. Yeah. Okay. So this is just cross stitch April 2016. Seasons in chalk spring. Stitching this on 28 count chalkboard by weeks. I believe we start works maybe. Oh, yeah, it's weeks. You can see through it. The old one, right? But it sure does stand out. Okay. We're almost done with this bucket. Spring, spring, florals, Easter. This is Floral Slender. Stitching it on the 14 or 16 or 18 count black uh, Ada. Lots of fractionals. This is some tedious stitching. But won't it be pretty? Okay. Yes, it will. So pretty. Okay. This one is Jewels of Summer, which probably should go in summer, but I put it in floral just because it's, it's, it's a floral bouquet. Not much done on this one. I started, this is a 32 count ivory, and I started the leaves. Lately, been watching like all of these um, floral dimension finishes and it's really making me want to work on my floral projects. So we'll probably be getting one of those out soon. Come on. Okay. Uh, pretty Posy. Worked on this one for Stitch Mania. This is from cross-stitching, the world of cross-stitching book that I have. Magazine, not book. Um, but I don't know the issue number. Pretty Posy is what it's called. Yeah, that's what I have done. That was on a like remnant piece of fabric that I got somewhere and uh, it's very big open weave but it still looks pretty Okay, I don't know what that noise is, is if y'all hear that, I have no idea. The, mm. We're trying to show you, there's the picture. This is sunshine, clover and sunshine. He's so cute. This is from a Rendale um, calendar that I'm going to stitch all of those guys. But right now, I'm stitching Clover and Sunshine. What is that noise? Uh, he's coming up. This is one that's deceptive when you're stitching it. You think that you have made a lot of progress, but for some reason, it takes a little longer than you think. This one is Snowman Through the Year, and I am working on, I wanna say the bunny rabbit one. Where is it? Is there a picture of it? I think I'm doing the bunny. Pink. Okay, and it's being stitched on 14 count vintage oat like this interesting um modeled ada and that's all i have done <laughs> but it's the outline of the santa i mean the snowman so cute okay um this is spring garden spot
that's it. <laughs> uh, 32 count DMC fabric. Lots, lots, lots of color changes. Lots of colors. Beautiful. Okay. If you would like to see a beautiful finish of this one, you should visit, visit Calico Whimsy, Christine's channel. And she finished this Easter basket. This is being stitched on 36 count moon glow. And that's what I have done. Also dainty, delicate, beautiful stitches. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see the bottom is so close y'all. Are you still there? This is March. Do I have March started? Cricut Collection. If I have it started, there's not much, yeah. That's it. On a remnant of green fabric. Cricut Collection May. Even less started. blue the bunny hunch so as you can see there's a lot of vintage sprinkles out through but um, I feel like they go with the season and then there's the bunny I have started and his cute basket Easter Morn, just cross stitch April 2017. This is difficult stitching because lots of color changes. You can't carry half uh, fractionals. Yeah, but won't it be pretty? Okay. This is called um, like fairy fantasy forest. This is on 32 count vintage blue whisper. That's pretty. Okay, this is almost done. I uh, also stitched this when I was, uh, had my surgery. And it's this artiste kit. Don't really think it has a name, but. And here is where we are. It's so close. Lots of back stitching to do. And some fractional, I think there's some bees and stuff. Lots, lots, lots to do. It doesn't look like it, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna show you that one because it's it's a maybe. Okay, apparently I have my rejects in this stack here, so we're not gonna show that one. Um, lavender pots, DMC kit. on the linen from the kit, which is amazing linen. Lots down in there. Okay. Spring still, okay. Oh, look at 
do this. Okay, we only have three more. Three more. Didn't make it to the hour, but it's okay. <laughs> Ver uh, Vermilion Stitchery's Garden Bench. Not started. Going to be started. Don't think I started it. Nope. It's ready to go. So pretty. That's a Jan Lynn kit. And then this is Spring House from Brooks Books. The other one was Summer. Here is Spring. Really enjoy working on those little houses. Last one for this video. Spring hair, just cross stitch. Taryn Verley is working on this one too. April 2018. That's what I have done. That's it, my friends. I almost made it hour and one minute. So I hope that you found some things that you liked and I hope that you come back for the next bin, which will have probably Christmas and some fancy ladies. And I don't really know what else. Oh, like the other project, Miss Leaves project. Anyway, now I'm going way over an hour. So we'll end it here and I hope to see you again soon.